Apple might be about to revolutionize the camera industry in a way that is absolutely mind-blowing and something that I, as a content creator, am so excited for and something I want to talk about with you. In a recent report from YM Cinema Magazine, there was a recent patent that was published by Apple which included a sensor that they're developing that has 20 stops of dynamic range, which, for those of you who don't know, the human eye is capable of perceiving somewhere between 20 to 30 stops of dynamic range. This is like absolutely insane. And if this is actually true, this will be such a revolution in the camera industry that makes me want to ask the question, is it possible that they're actually working on a dedicated camera or is this something that we're going to be seeing in the phones or both or maybe something that they're going to be adding to spatial computing so that it looks very, very real. Either way, the really important thing with a patent like this is that it's actually going to be possible to implement this sensor onto various devices, and that is extremely, extremely exciting for me. For those of you who have recently seen the F1 movie, there were shots in that movie that were utilized on an iPhone 15's sensor that was rigged in a completely different way on these like little boxes. Even though it wasn't like an iPhone 15, it was using the iPhone 15 sensor, it was using the iPhone 15's chip, it was using basically every component from the iPhone 15, but put into a package that wasn't an iPhone 15. And if they're doing that now, if they're doing that with things like the, these custom-made cameras for the F1 movie, who's to say that they're not eventually going to be stepping into the camera industry altogether? My dream Apple product is a cinema camera made by Apple with let's say it's a 20 stop dynamic range sensor as it is that this patent does say that may be coming. I think that would be absolutely incredible because you know, Apple wouldn't just make a regular, let's say it's like a Sony ZVE 10. This thing would probably, if you think about it, it would probably have a screen an all one big screen on the back with iOS basically <laughs> on it on the back with just the thought of that with an interchangeable lens is absolutely incredible to me and something that I would love to see. And if you think about it, it does make sense for Apple to step into this space when they already do have products that line up with it. Um, and I'm talking about when I say products that line up with it, I'm mainly talking about Apple TV. If you think about Sony, Sony produces films. They, they are a big cinema studio. They, they don't only just make films. They sell the cameras that make the film. If you think about something like the Sony FX6 or even some of the bigger Sony cameras that I don't know all the, I, I literally don't know all the names of some of them, but I think it's absolutely crazy. And I think it's pretty interesting that they're coming up with this sensor that honestly competes with things like the Ari Alexa which is absolutely incredible. It's an insane camera used on majority of movies you watch in a sensor that can fit into an iPhone, in a sensor that could fit into a digital camera, in a sensor that could fit into a spatial headset to allow you to see the environment around you so realistic that it looks literally like you're looking at it with your own eyes directly instead of an image sensor. I think that is extremely exciting. And to be fair, to be frank, the sensors in these iPhones for what they can do is already so good. So to add 20 stops of dynamic range isn't alone the most crazy thing. It's just the idea that they're going to have sensors that powerful, that small already. On top of what is computational photography, these chips do so much with the image already to make Literally, you can make movies like look at 28 years later, look at obviously I already said the F1 movie, even though that wasn't filmed on this iPhone 15 Pro, which this is, it was using all of the components of an iPhone 15 Pro just reconfigured into like a box instead of instead of one of these. If they could just reconfigure that and make it into a camera box with an interchangeable lens and maybe a display like this on the back of it, I think that would be absolutely incredible. 
and I think this is a very, very, very exciting thing for Apple. Is it the most Apple thing ever for them to create a a a, a cinema camera or even a, a digital camera for photography? No, I don't really see that. But also, I never really saw them going in their own direction with their own movie studio and, and TV streaming service. So here we are now that that's a thing. I think it is realistic that we could see them dive into the camera world. It only makes sense. iPhones are the best cameras, really, for your money, if you think about it. And if they continue to improve these sensors and make them better and better year over year, especially with something like adding 20 stops of dynamic range to a sensor, I really think this is opening the air for them to do something extremely exciting in the camera industry. And maybe it just may mean that they're doing it on their iPhones. And yeah, I think that would be a little disappointing because honestly, if they put these sensors, if they gave you the ability to add incredible lenses to these sensors think about what you could get with it something like let's say it's an f 1.2 aperture or even an f 1.4 with 20 stops of dynamic range and really good glass you could get an incredible image at a consumer level price point and i think that is so exciting for the future Frankly, I think it'd be interesting if they sold an iPhone that was more of like a dedicated camera that had like a really big just one sensor or gave you the option to have an interchangeable lens. Will they do that? Probably not. But honestly, I think for them, a really great vertical is the actual dedicated camera landscape. This is just so exciting because obviously if this was something that they were going to do, it's something that I know I would buy. It's something that I know a lot of people would buy just because a lot of people like the image sensor that the iPhones have. And I think it's very, very, very exciting. But ultimately, I'd love to hear from you. Do you think this is something that you would like to see? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. And with all of that out of the way, thank you again so much for watching this video. And until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.